Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, on this first Friday of September, we once again consecrate ourselves to the heart of Jesus that is full of compassion and mercy for all of us. Today, we also celebrate the memorial of St. Gregory the Great, Pope and Doctor of the Church. Let us now call to mind our sins and beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. Lord Jesus, you healed the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and to give us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, through the intercession of Pope St. Gregory, and thou we pray with the spirit of wisdom, those to whom you have, been, you have given authority to govern, that the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. 
Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and the invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before all things, and in Him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things He Himself might be preeminent. For in Him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through Him to reconcile all things for Him making peace by the blood of his cross through him whether those on earth or those in heaven the word of the lord thanks be to god come with joy into the presence of the lord come with joy into the presence of the lord sing joyfully to the lord all you lands serve the lord with gladness come before him with joyful song. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Know that the Lord is God. He made us. His we are. His people, the flock He tends. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Enter His gates with thanksgiving, His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him. Bless His name. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. For He is good, the Lord, whose kindness endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Our spirit and life, you have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The scribes and Pharisees said to Jesus, The disciples of John the Baptist fast often and offer prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees do the same. But yours eat and drink. Jesus answered them, Can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. And he also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak to patch an old one. Otherwise, he will tear the new, and the piece from it will not match the old cloak. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wine skins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins, and it will be spilled, and the skins will be ruined. Rather, New wine must be poured into fresh wineskins. And no one who has been drinking old wine desires new, for he says, the old is good. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, a philosopher said that 
the only constant thing in this world is change. Everything changes. Things change. Seasons change. People change. We all change. And because everything is constantly changing, then something that is new immediately becomes old and is replaced by something new. Just look at how technology progresses. Merong bagong gadget, ilang buwan lang, luma na yan, meron na namang bagong darating. Everything changes. And so how should we deal with new things that constantly come to us? And how and what should be our attitude towards old things, towards the past? Some people are stuck to the past. They think that only the past, only the old is good. And so they are not open to new things. They e even condemn changes. Some people judge the past or the old as obsolete. Nothing good can be learned from the past. And so let us just be open to new things, to progress, to anything that is new to us. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel today, Jesus teaches us how to deal with old and new things. Jesus teaches us that we should have the attitude of critical openness. Critical openness. In the words of Jesus in our gospel, he says, new wine into new wineskins. But Jesus also said that someone who has been drinking old wine will desire new wine because the old is good. Critical openness. Critical openness means being open to changes, being open to new things. But we also have to be, to be critical because not everything that is new is good. Hindi dahil bago, agad-agad nating tatanggapin. Dapat nating suriing mabuti. Pero hindi rin naman tayo dapat maging takot sa mga bagong bagay at sa mga pagbabagong nangyayari sa ating buhay. In the same way, we should not judge the past or the old as obsolete as insignificant, but we should also not say that everything that is old, that everything that is traditional is good. Critical openness means we have to be discerning. Maraming aral ang itinuturo sa atin ng nakaraan. Pero hindi lahat ng aral ay dapat nating dalhin magpasa hanggang ngayon. May mga bagay na pang nakaraan lang, only for the past, but is no longer relevant to the new things around us. Critical openness is to be discerning. What is good in the past, let us bring with us. What is good in the new, let us be open and accepting. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the memorial of St. Gregory the Great. He is one of only two popes 
formally given the title The Great. The other is Pope Saint Leo. Gregory was a Benedictine monk. He wanted to live a contemplative life. But because of his talents, because of his skills, he was given many administrative roles in the church, even as a monk. And later, he was elected Pope. He was Pope towards the end of the 6th century until the early years of the 7th century. He was Pope during the turbulent times in the church. At that time, Rome was constantly being threatened by attacks from the Lombard king. There was also lawlessness and chaos, the lawlessness and chaos of the Middle Ages. But despite these things happening around him, Gregory was a very good administrator and shepherd. He administered the church very well. And despite the many things happening in the church and in society of his time, Gregory remained steadfast in proclaiming the one truth, the one constant truth, who is Jesus. My dear brothers and sisters, the only permanent thing in this world is change. But philosophers would also say that while everything changes, we can only talk of change because of something that remains permanent. And that something that remains permanent in our faith is a someone, Jesus, who according to St. Paul in our first reading today, is at the center of all of God's creation, Jesus, who is at the center of our life. Although everything changes, although everything is in a constant flux, although we are always confronted with old things and new things, Jesus never changes. He remains the same yesterday, today, and forever. Let us pray to God our Father that He bring us closer to the values of the Gospel to renew the Church and the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the Church, the people of God, and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of today the ever-new language of the Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ, which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may realize that the miracle of change is always possible for those who seek Christ's help in attaining it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick by showing them love and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us also remember the people who requested our prayers. Let us include in our prayers Cardinal Rufino Santos, 
on his death anniversary today, let us also pray for all, for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, hear our prayer and teach us the art of living as a new people set free by the love of Jesus Christ who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that this sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory may be for our good since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Gregory, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection 
until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Gregory, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Gregory they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Today, Star Music released the Tagalog version of We Give Our Yes, our mission song for the 500 years of Christianity in the Philippines. And the title of the Tagalog uh, version of We Give Our Yes is Awit ng Mission, also sung by Miss Jamie Rivera. The song is available in Spotify, Apple Music, and other digital platforms. And so we invite you to avail of this uh, song as we continue our celebration of the fifth centenary of Christianity in the Philippines. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Salamat Panginoon sa iyong kunla Misyong kaloob sa ating puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon 